Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little Hershey Nugget totes. They are super cute. Um, they kind of little <laughs> little handle on there. They'd be so fun to put on somebody's desk or a little treat at a holiday table. Um, super cute. It holds six of the Hershey Nuggets and you can get the variety pack. They have just, um, they have all kinds of different um, options for the Hershey Nuggets, um, but I'm going to show you how to make those today. So the paper packet that I'm using is called Holly Jolly, and I'm also going to be using the Holly Jolly sticker sheet. Uh, there is um, an option where you can get the paper packet and the sticker sheet in one packet, um, and that's what I used. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me just stick these off to the side. You will need a scoreboard and some scissors. Where's my, oh, there it is. It is hiding. I'm gonna move the little nuggets to the side. So you will need a four by eight piece of cardstock. This is called um, green apple. It's one of our new colors. I just barely got it, so I wanted to use it with this pro project. Um, it's actually really super cute. So let me show you how to score this. You'll want to score the long way at a half inch on both sides. And then you'll want to score it this way at one inch, one and a half inches, and at three. Then you'll flip it around and do the same measurements again. You'll do one inch, one and a half, and three. And then you'll want to do four, okay? So the four is what it's, it's going to just basically um, fold it in half on that four. Okay, let me stick that off to the side and I'll show you how we want to cut this paper. All right, I have my little sample on the side. <laughs> so I don't lead you astray. So you have your little score lines. So you want to cut up on those two score lines. The next one, leave this section right here. So you'll skip that four inch line and trim and trim and trim. You'll do it on the opposite side as well. Trim up to that half inch score line, skip the four inch and trim all of those. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually cut, so this is where your four inch line is. I'm going to cut that off right there. Okay, and I'll do it on the other side as well. And we can throw those away. All right, and now we just need to fold all of these score lines. Now this paper is two-toned. Um, one side is darker than the other, so you can choose kind of what side you want um, for to show through. Um, mine will be the dark side. Okay, now get some adhesive. This is just a li liquid glue. Um, this will fold over so you can see how it's can you kind of see how it's going to come together a little bit? Okay, I'll just keep going. So you'll want to glue these little um, flaps. So let me stick some glue right here and right there. And we're just going to pop those in and just hold it for just a minute. We're going to actually trim this little part right here, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna 
day. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Just a little glue on here, a little glue right there. Oh, 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 it's running away. And fold that up. And I'm getting glue everywhere. Fold that up. It's no fun unless you get glue all over your fingers, right? Okay, let's so hold that for just a minute. Basically, I'm just lining up the back of the tab with the back of the box. So everything lines up. Okay. Now this section right here, you need to glue it back to back. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive right there and just squish it together. You could probably use some Tombow on that to glue it back to back if you wanted to. Okay, so now we have our little tote. And then we're just take our scissors and we're just gonna go from corner to corner and snip it. So you get that cute little angled look. Oh, sorry if I'm confusing you. Oh, one more, this one right here. So from corner to corner, so you have that little angle. Just adds a little something. And now we get to decorate it. So the paper that you'll need, you'll need two of these sizes, which is two inches by two and three fourths. Then you'll need two of these, which are seven eighths by two and three fourths. Then you'll also need six one by three, um, just different patterns for your nuggets. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this. Let me see, I always, that seriously, my glue always disappears. I think my daughter steals it. Um, where did it go? I was creating yesterday, so maybe it, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to get my big gun out. All right. So I, I like the, the little checker with this green apple. I'm just gonna stick it down there so there's a border all the way around. I'm just gonna push it down and do the same. And there you go. And then these go on the front. So I just flipped the paper over. So we have two sides to every story <laughs> or paper. Two sides. Okay. So you have a lot of options with this paper packet of patterns and designs. Okay. And then I wanted to use this Naughty or Nice. This strip right here is called a zip strip. It's just on the top of the pap paper. Um, one side has what colors are in the paper and this side has some kind of design. So I kind of just wanted to use this Naughty and Nice on there. Um, and add a little sticker. Let's see. Let's use this little holly that has the green and the has the green and the red. And then I'm just gonna use some 3D foam to pop it up a little bit. Off of the project. And oh, let's add some of our twine. This is one like, well, seriously, my favorite little thing to do right now is just add this like silver embossing. We have gold too. Um, I'm partial to silver, I'm kind of a silver girl. Um, you just loop 
as you can see you just loop that and then you can cut it off and it just kind of adds a little something to it add that right there and then I have naughty or nice and I can't pick it up there we go and I think I'm just going to glue it right on you could dovetail it if you want I think I'm just gonna leave this on a straight edge just put it right there okay super cute okay now what you do with these little nuggets um, again my children run away with my chocolate <laughs> of course the husband I'm not sure but I was left with one nugget thankfully so I can show you how to do the nuggets um, so these are one by three and I just stick a glue dot just pick one up on the pattern paper and then here my glue dot is right here so I wrap this side around and, and then I wrap the glue dot side down. Okay, and then it just fits right on in your cute little box. So you're all still in from here. Uh, <laughs> these cute little nuggets. At least they don't take the decorated ones. I mean that I mean they could it could get worse, I guess. They do leave me the ones that I've already put in a project, so. You stick them in there and you have your cute little nugget box. I will put the dimensions and the scoring and everything you need to recreate this in the description of the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you later. Bye.